in the build-up period during the spring and early summer, they're going to be building comb, uh, especially if it's a new swarm, they'll build comb at a, a, a fantastic rate. Um, I've known bees, well, the colony down there built, um, I think Sue said they built something like six bars in a week. Um, so they, if they're enthusiastic bees and they really get going on comb building, they can, you know, they can build very quickly. Yeah. So you do need to keep more of an eye on a top bar hive than you would, say, on a national. Mm -hmm. Right. Because the national is constrained by the dimensions of the box, and that's it. They can't expand that way. All you can do is add boxes. But a top bar hive, you can go at any time. And when I say seven days, I don't. I certainly don't go through the whole lot every seven no. days. All right. No. But what I do do, probably, at the, probably no more than certainly in the build-up period, certainly probably less than every seven days, is take a, take an end floor far away oh, yeah. and just have a quick look and see what they're doing. What's that, wasp? It's a wasp. Yeah. It's heard us. Talking about bees. Okay. Um, you just add one top bar at a time? Or could no, if you can add six, as many you as you like. Add the six in well, one I, if you're going away for a couple of weeks and they oh, look like they're building strongly, I would add as many as they need. Mm. Yeah. But the reason for only adding one or two at a time is really to keep them straight. <coughs> yeah. put in, uh, if you put course. too many in, yes. they can sometimes get a little bit off and carried yeah. away, <laughs> shall we say, and start moving <coughs> home diagonally. But if you only add it one at a time and the other bars are straight, then they'll keep building straight. Mm. Incidentally, one of the things that we've been doing this year a lot um, is converting from um, <coughs> framed hives to top bar hives because my local beekeeping group got given a bunch of hives from Buckhart Savvy and they disposed of their, a lot of their bees. And they're in these big dadent hives. And the dadent top bar is actually 19 inches. 17. So what we've been doing is drilling a couple of holes in the end of each top bar and putting two inch nails, just loose, loosely, a smooth fit kind yeah. of thing, into those holes to extend them so that they sit into the comb guides, the, the sorry, the frame guides on the Dayton High. Mm. And, we put, and you put, if you put top bars in between frames, alternating, they have to build a straight comb because yeah. that's the only gap that's available to them. And so you can put three or four of these into a Dayton hive. And then after a week or so, when they've built the comb out, you can lift them out, put them straight into a top bar hive. And if you get, if you've got, say, three or four Dayton hives, or you, know, you could do it with nationals as well. Um, with a national, of course, this is the same length anyway, so you can just drop it in. Um, you can, you can